the um, replication process. So there are a few um, enzymes that you have to take note. First one is enzyme helicase. Is this helicase here? Hmm, there's no helicase here. It's okay. Enzyme DNA helicase is important to break the hydrogen bond, separate the parental strands. And these two parental strands will act as templates, will serve as template to synthesize new strand. Okay, for this particular uh, template strand, uh, it will synthesize a, lead, a leading strand. So you look at the arrow. So the arrow is pointing towards the replication fork. The replication fork is a junction between the double-stranded and single-strand okay, of DNA. It's a junction. So the synthesis is towards the replication fork. This is known as the leading strand. Away, look at the arrow, away from the replication fork is known as the lagging strand. The lagging strand is discontinuous when compared with the uh, leading strand because this one is composed of several Okazaki fragments. Segments about 250 to 1,000 nucleotides, 2,000 nucleotides. So these are the Okazaki fragments. Okay, these Okazaki fragments, for each of the fragment, of course, there's primer. Okay, if you look at here, there's a primer, the green one. And you have to take note that replication, it needs primer. Primer or a primer is made up of RNA polymerase or primase. Okay, uh, the enzymes that is important to synthesize the new complementary strand is known as DNA polymerase or DNA polymerase 3. Take note, DNA polymerase 3 synthesizes the new strand and to catalyze the formation of phosphodiester bond. And that's another uh, proteins. Look at here, the protein single-stranded binding proteins. This protein is very important to ensure that this um, strand does not rewind. So to maintain this replication bubble, so it uses this uh, single-strand binding protein. Okay, so what else? Ah, DNA ligase. DNA ligase is important to join the two Okazaki fragments together. Joining the two Okazaki fragments is known as ligation process. Okay, ligation process. 